Hey everybody, uh, today you can see we're going to take up uh, from 1-4, question 4C, and this one might have been a challenge, you know, we've gone through and we've solved a bunch of systems, this one though happening to be a system of three equations with three unknowns. So we're going to jump right in, I'm going to give you a full walkthrough in terms of solution. You've been given the instruction to solve, like you see up top. Okay, what I want to do, first get rid of that dot, okay, here we go. In terms of formatting, we need to make sure that we are properly labeling our equations. There's my one, two, three. Now I can talk about them. You have an option here. I'm going to go through very fast. You could take equation one and rearrange it, let's say. You know, get rid of the positive 3b, so subtract it. Get rid of a plus 4c, so subtract it. And now take that equation one and sub it into, you know, equation two, or you could do it three. That would allow you to eliminate your A's because you'd have equations with just B's and C's, so on. Yes, you could do that. That is the last suggestion I would give you. If you have the debate between how you solve systems, please be an elimination junkie as opposed to a substitution junkie when all of your equations are of the same degree. So when you look at all those equations, all your variables have an exponent of one. I hope elimination would be the pathway we would take. So maybe what I do is I use equation one against the other two. So I'm going to deal with one and two and then one and three, and I can eliminate the same variable. So Right now, because my a's in equation 1 and 2 both have a coefficient of 1, I could just take equation 1 and subtract equation 2 to eliminate my a's. If I take 1 minus 2, my a's cancel out. I get 3b minus 2b, which is 1b. 4c subtract a negative c, so that's now a positive 5c. And 14 minus 5, there's my 9. Notice what I just did was built a new equation. That would now become equation four, and I've eliminated my a's. So if I could now take equation one and use it against equation three to eliminate my a's, I'd create another b and c equation that I can solve my system. My problem is right now is that my a's don't have the same coefficient. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take equation 1 and I'm going to multiply it by 2. That would now create this equation, 2a plus 6b plus 4c equals 28. That would now be equation 5, a new equation. But if I take a look at equation 3 and equation 5, I notice they both have two a's now. And now I could put those two equations together to eliminate my a's. So because I like positive coefficients, if I was to subtract 3 minus 5, I'm going to create a negative number of b's, and I don't like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take equation 5, and I'm going to subtract equation 3. And if I subtract in that order, my a's cancel out. I would now have a positive 5b plus a 6c, and that is going to equal 26. And wow, that now becomes equation 6. Now that I got to that point with equation 4 and equation 6, I'm just going to circle them so we can kind of see what we're dealing with. Or I guess box them in. That's not really much of a circle. But if you take a look at just equation 4 and equation 6, that would now represent like the easiest of easy systems for us to solve. Two equations, two unknowns. So I'm going to stick with elimination. Rather than taking equation 4 and rearranging it and getting the BL by itself, I'm just going to take equation 4 and I'm going to do this in purple now. I will take equation 4, and I'm going to multiply it by 5 to put a 5 coefficient on my b. That would now create, and if you really like, you know, equations being on top of each other, feel free. Like, I can write that down over here. That would now be a 5b 
plus a 25C equals 45, and that would now be equation 7. Okay, if I focus in on equation 6 and 7 now, I can solve my system. So I got to tell my reader what operation I'm doing, and I'm just going to kind of move on up to the right in a second. I'm going to take equation 7 and subtract equation 6. So when I do that, my b's are going to cancel out. I get 25c minus 6c. There's a 19c. That's going to equal 45 minus 26. Hey, that's another 19. And I'm actually very fortunate that that solves to a, an integer. There's my c value of 1. Now that I have that c value of 1, I can sub c equals 1 back into, and I'm going to sub it back into one of my originals in my green system. That is being equation 4 and 6. So if I sub c equals 1 back into, I think I'm going to sub it back into equation 4 because that's got the easiest numbers to work with. So b plus 5 is going to give me 9, and so b equals 4. Now I know that my c is 1, my b is 4. I can now sub c equals 1, b equals 4, back into one of the very original equations that was given. And maybe, I don't know, the smallest number seems to be equation 2. So I think that one's going to be the easiest for me. That means I've got a plus 2 times b, so 2 times 4, minus my c value, so minus 1, gives me 5. That means I've got an a plus 7, which gives me 5, which means a equals negative 2. Okay, I've solved my system. So the only thing left for me to do is to go ahead and write out my solution. Do not, do not, do not forget to now state it as a point of intersection, a list of coordinates in alphabetical order. So I have my negative 2, then my 4, then my 1. There's my A, my B, and my C, and I am good. Okay, there is a walkthrough for how to solve a system with three equations and three unknowns. Take an equation, look back to the beginning, and use it against the rest to eliminate the same variable. Once you get to your green boxed-in equations, where now it's the same two variables, now you can solve that system as fast as you can go. Okay, I hope that helps you. Good luck with the rest of your practice.